Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number seven from the June 2022 International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P1 paper. Um, this question here is about a curve C which has equation y equals f of x, where x is greater than zero. We're told that the um, f dash of x, the first differential of x, the gradient function of, 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 the, of this um, function y, is 2 over root x plus a over x squared plus 3, where a is a constant. And the second differential is equal to 0 when x equals 4. All right, so we got to find the value of a. And we got to find the value of a. All right, so here, um, to find the value of a, what we need to do is the following. Now, we know that the second differential of this is equal to 0. So if I take this function, which is f dash of x, and I rewrite it in a way that's easy for us to differentiate, because I'm going to differentiate this now to give me the second differential and equate it to 0. So if I um, rewrite this, so I'm going to rewrite this in index form. Now we know that the square root of x can be written as x to the power of a half. And 1 over x to the power of a half is the same as x to the power of negative half using the, the laws of indices. Okay, so I can write this as 2 times x to the power of negative half plus a times x to the power of negative 2 plus 3. And if I differentiate this again, so if I differentiate this uh, to find the second differential, okay, because this is the first differential, the gradient function, if I differentiate it, um, I'm going to multiply by the power, so I have minus a half times 2, which is minus 1 times x and I've got to take one from the power that gives me minus 3 over 2 and then I'm going to have to multiply by the power here so I'll get negative 2a x and then I'm going to have to take one from the power begin to give me negative 3 and then the 3 will disappear when I, dif when I differentiate a constant it becomes 0 so now I have the second differential now we know that the second differential as I told us is equal to 0 when x equals 4 so basically what they're saying, telling us, is when I put 4 into this function, this, great, this, this second differential, I should get 0 out. So if I replace the x with 4, okay, now before doing that, let me just rewrite this in a way that's easy for us to uh, substitute values in. So I'll have minus 1 over, now x to the power of 3 over 2 is the same as the square root of x cubed. So I'll write this as the square root of x cubed. The, the numerator is the power and the denominator is the root. The minus means it's in the denominator, okay, the reciprocal. And I'll have minus 2a over x cubed, just to make it easy to substitute values in. So now when I put 4 in here, I'll have minus 1 over the square root of 4 cubed, minus 2a over um, 4 cubed, and I know that's equal to 0. And with this, I should be able to find what a is. Now, the square root of 4 is 2, and 2 cubed is 8. So that's negative 1 over 8, minus, and you got 4 cubed is 64. So I, I end up with this. So I can say that minus 1 over 8 is equal to, that's going to be 2a over 64. Now, the 2 cancels with the 64, giving me 32. So I end up with a equals 32 minus 1 over 8, times 32, so a is equal to negative 4. So I know a is equal to negative 4, um, and that answers part a of the question. So this is minus 4 over x squared. Okay, so that's the, the original function. So now on to part b. Okay, so it's just simply, the part a was simply just differentiating this and replacing the x with 4 in the second differential and then equating it to 0 and solving the equation for a. Okay, now... For part b, we now know this is the equation f dash of x. Okay, so it says given also that f, f of x equals 8 root 3 when x equals, x equals 12, find f of x giving each term in its simplest form. Okay, so now I know that when x equals 12, f, x, f of x equals 8 root 3. And we know what f dash of x is now. f dash of x is 2 over the square root of x minus 4 over x squared plus 3. 
So um, I can rewrite this first again in a, in a way that's easy for me to differentiate. So it's 2x to the power of negative a half minus 4x to the power of negative 2 plus 3. So now I want to find f of x. So here I have to do the opposite. Here I have to integrate this function. Okay, I have to integrate this to give me f of x. Because here I've got, the, so if I've got f of x and I want to go to f dash of x, I have to differentiate. If I'm going the other way, I have to integrate. So this is differentiate and this is integrate. Okay, so going from f of x to f dash of x, you got, you're differentiating the opposite way you're integrating. So if I want to find what f of x is, I've got to integrate. So I can say um, f of x is going to be the integral of f dash of x with respect to x. Okay, so I've got to take f dash of x, which is 2x to the power of negative half minus 4x to the power of negative 2 plus 3, and I must integrate that with respect to x. And I know that when x equals 12, f of x equals 8 root 3. Okay, so I can say when x equals 12, y is equal to 8 root 3. Okay, so I have some values that I can use to find the constant that's going to come out when I integrate this. So when I integrate this, remember to integrate, you add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So you have 2x to the power of a half, if you add 1 to minus a half, you get plus a half, divided by a half, minus 4x to the power, if you add 1 to minus, minus 2, you get minus 1, divided by minus 1, plus, and you got 3, you, uh, and, a, and a, a constant term just gains an x. If you differentiate 3x, you get 3, so if you integrate 3, you get 3x. And then don't forget, very, very important here, to put the plus c. Really important to put the plus c. Okay, so now we're going to simplify this first. So this is now f of x. You can say this is our f of x. So this is f of x equals, so now f of x equals, now, 2 divided by a half. When you divide by a fraction, you multiply by its reciprocal, so that's going to be 4x to the power of a half. And you've got minus and the minus gives you plus 4x to the power of negative 1 plus 3x plus c. All right, so now we know that when x equals 12, f of x or y is equal to 8 root 3. So now I know when I, when, I, when, I, when I replace the x with 12, I end up with 8 root 3. Let's first just write this in a more friendly way for um, substituting values in. That's 4 times root x over 4 divided by x plus 3x plus c. So now I want to find what c is. And I can use the fact I know these values of x and f of x to find what c is. So I can replace the f of x with 8 root 3. And I can replace the x with 12. So that's 4 root 12 plus 4 over 12 plus 3 times 12 plus c. Okay, so that's, that's what they told us, 12, yeah, 8 root 3. Okay, so now we can find what c is. So here I have 8 root 3 equals. Now, let's simplify this. Now, I know that root 12 is 4 times 3. So this is going to be 4 times, and you're going to have the square root of 4 times 3. Okay. Plus, this is going to be 1 over 3, plus 36 plus c. So I have 8 root 3 equals, and that's going to be 4 times 2 root 3. R root 4 is uh, 2, so that's 4 times, so that's going to be, again, 8 root 3, plus, you're going to have 36 and, and 1 third, or we can write it like this, plus C. Now, these cancel out, because when you, when you subtract them from both sides, it becomes 0. So you're left with C equals negative 36 and 1 third, which you can write, if you want, as a um, mix, as an improper fraction. Okay, so you have um, 3 times 36, Okay, which is 108, so it's negative 108 over 3, you can write it like that. So therefore, we can now write down what f of x is. We have the value of c, so therefore we can say the function f of x is equal to. So we have all of this, 4 root, I can write it in this form if I want, 4 times the square root of x uh, plus 4 over x, 
and then you have uh, plus 3x and you have minus 108 over 3 or minus 36 and one third as you wish but that's fine there we have the answer to this question we have found the original function okay from this um, information that we have we could find what c is so we integrated the second the first differential to give us f of x and we worked out what c is by putting substituting the values that they gave us and we got the answer i hope that was clear um thank you for watching um other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region here other questions from um p1 from this this questions from this paper p1 in june 2022 from this playlist over here other questions which are dealing with integration i guess integration in this playlist over here differentiation in this playlist over here and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon